let's say you're working on an object and it's fairly small. If I just scale this thing down, let's say we're working on this little uh, this little Barbie doll. I can just zoom in there. Okay, so I'm working on this guy. It's quite a small model, and I want to go look at his hand over here. So I'll zoom in. I'll go zoom in onto his hand, and we'll get closer. We can start working on the fingers. But then all of a sudden, ooh, this happens. His fingers have gone. They've disappeared. So it's quite hard to get in close sometimes to quite small objects. If you've ever worked on uh, product packaging, you've you probably have come across this one quite quite quickly. Um, what we've got here is view clipping. Cinema will eat into anything you ever get too close to. Um, and now this does also manifest itself in a slightly different way. Another fairly common problem is you're, you're working on a model. Uh, let's say it's a fairly large scene, maybe an entire cityscape you're working on. And your camera's far away, but then you zoom in optically so you can see what you're doing. You might start to notice stuff like this. Jagged edges around the outside edge, and as you move, they shimmer and flicker in uh, not particularly nice ways. So if you've ever seen either of these problems, objects vanishing when you get too close or too far away, uh, or these horrible edges on your models, either way, your problem is the same thing. It's view clipping. If you go to Edit Project Settings, what you'll have down here is view clipping. Now. Basically, there's a limitation with your graphics card. You can only zoom in so far or zoom out so far. So if you're working on a particularly large project or a particularly small project, you can help Cinema with this. You can give it a, a, a bit of help as to what size project you're working on. Now, you can set these values manually. If you unfold this little arrow, let's just zoom in there. If you unfold this uh, arrow, you can set manual sizes. But to be honest, you can just use one of the preset sizes. So if you're working on something quite small, the default is medium, by the way. So just go for either small or tiny, and that will allow you to work on smaller objects. So if I go back to that project with the guy's hand, and I try to zoom in. Oh no, his fingertips are disappearing. We can tell Cinema, hey, this is quite uh, this is quite a small project. Let us get closer to things. And there you go, his fingertips are back. Now, if I keep on zooming, it will eventually do it again. It will still I have to get very close. There we go. We're, so we're now slicing into it. But you can set it smaller still. You can say, ah, oh, well, actually, we're working on a tiny scene. And there you go. His fingertips are back in. Um, so you might be thinking, well, hold on. What? Why don't they just set that as the default? If this fixes it, why, why not do that? Well, it also messes up with uh, how large things can be. So although I can work on these very small uh, fingertips quite easily. What will happen is if I zoom out too far, my stickman here. Do do do. Let's just zoom in a little bit more. My stickman. If I get too far out, you'll notice this uh, horrible flickering like we had on the cube. Basically, that will get worse quicker. So you're sacrificing the ability to get really close for the ability to be quite far away. And if I continue zooming out, eventually he will just disappear, he'll sort of uh, get sliced out of existence.